Oh my goodness. Hello you. I got a package. Check out my package. I got this before Christmas, I think, but I haven't had a chance to open it. But now I'm going to open it in front of you lot. And we can both find out what it is. I've got a good idea what it is. And yes, I should have done this much earlier if I wanted to get all the clicks. But I've been busy with work and what have you. What are you? It's the new Aura Battler. He's not very new, he's very old. I think it's, I think it's like the 40 year anniversary and it's a high grade Bandai. It's got to be 2020, 2023, made in Japan. So this is the retooling, is it? Packaging and an invoice. Premium Bandai. Yes, I've already got the high grade of this. When it was first released many, many moons ago. This must have been something like 20 years ago or even more. But they've um, redone the articulation on it. So there'll be some new parts on this to allow for added updated articulation and what have you. So yeah, you can pick up the original one very cheaply if, they've, uh, if you, your old hobby store has them. What's this? Is that internal mechanics for an Aura Battler? If you haven't seen Aura Battler, it's uh, an anime which came after Gundam. I think it came after Gundam. But um, yeah, the interesting thing about this one is all the, all the robots, all the mechs, they're like a biomechanoid inspired. It's a bit H.R. Giga type of thing. And it's got transparent plastics and what have you. Uh, yeah, and I like it. It's got a like, knights in shining armor type of theme to it as well. But I like it. It's like a cross between a beetle and what's that show? Is it MacGyver? Am I thinking of MacGyver? Oh, I'm sure I've got my shows mixed up. Anyway, Tamino. He did the show. I'm going to crack this open. Thanks for joining me and bearing with me. I need to get out all, I've, I think I've got pretty much every Aura Battler mobile suit uh, in the high grade f format. One in 70 second scale. It is like a one in 144 scale type of size, Gundam. If you compare them in height, there's one in 72 in uh, Aura Dunbine world. So what do we have? This looks the same. Will it have a, a very old date on it? No, it doesn't. Made in Japan, 2023. So that's his backpack and the sheath for his sword. And that will be like the, the arm cannon that he has. Okay. There must be some old sprues in here somewhere. Sorry for the camera wobble. 2023. Are they all going to be 2023? No, this one looks new. Something funny going on with the shoulders here. So, is it a completely new kit? Uh, sorry for the crinkly sounds. Two thousand twenty-three again. Maybe they've just like reprinted everything. As re 2023, even though... No, I'm sure we didn't have such nice hands in the original release. So, this could be a surprising number of new parts here. 2023 again. Is this a completely new kit? Surely not. But those are the double V fins in his forehead, and I'm sure in the original kit, that's just a sticker. Double V-fin. Is it a V-fin? All right, the chevron things. That 
is new. Can you see my face? That's got like some kind of a chrome coating on there. Very shiny. Ah, oh, it's just coated on one side. So this is like, is this translucent? Because this cockpit's meant to be a, a translucent green piece. And this is, if you look here, look at it. I think it is green, but on one side, it has an additional like chrome plating on it. 2023. It's a good show. Please go and watch it. It used to be on YouTube. I think I watched it all on YouTube when it was available. So, the Flappy Wings, 2023 again. They look, they're on ball joints here. I'm not sure the original one was on ball joints. This is very surprising to me. It looks like everything is new. Now I have got to go into storage now and find my original high grade to do a comparison. These are, is this the claws? And I'm sure we didn't have different colored claws on his feet on the original one either. How curious! Oh, what? 2000? This looks like an entirely new kit! For our hero, or a battle at Unbind. It's a Dunbine. D -d 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 Dunbine. It's a d -d 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 Dunbine. I see the half of his uh, backpack, wing thing, cape. 2023. And that's the other half of his legs, which were an arms that we've already had. I think this is an entirely new kit. How awesome is that? But why is it? A Bandai Premium. Is it really that obscure that nobody wants it? I wanted it. Wanted it enough to pre-order it. And I got it a couple of months ago. And this is the only time I've had to do an unboxing for you. Colour on the one side. And black and white on the other. Interesting. Have you seen Aura Battler? It's a Dunbine. D -d 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 Dunbine. Build video? Before I go, I found this. It's a bit of black vinyl wire. Is there any core to it? Yes, there is. There's a bit of metal in there. Is that called catching the light? So this will be these bits here on his shoulders. And I do remember the, the old kits having bits of wire here and there. In fact, I did find this that wasn't in storage. This is the very, very original pre high grade, one in 70 second scale, and it's a Bandai. And this one has tons of wires in it. 500 yen, that's all it costs. This one costs a lot more than 500 yen in 2024. Look at all those Aura Battlers. I've got that one in high grade. I've got this one in high grade as well. I don't think I've got any of the others. But I think there will be more high grade Aura Battler Dunbine kits. And this one I picked up on, at, a, at an auction and it said it was used and it's heavily used so <laughs> it's in a right mess but this maybe you can't see it but this one there's a tangle of wires in bits where, where the joints are look how badly glued together this thing is and that was like part of the biomechanoid horrible guts of the joints that it had on top of um everything else oh, here, here's Here's one I disassembled earlier. Look at all those wires. And they'd be bunched up together. Behind the knee. Flappy wings. That's all you have. 
little hinge there. This isn't the high grade. I'll dig that out later. Yeah, here we go. This is the shoulder for the Yoldi Aura Battler Dunbine. Two cables here and a mass of cables for his uh, elbow joint. So yeah, I look forward to putting this guy together. Anyway, for reals, bye, come back later. Subscribe for more. Bye-bye.